Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be exploring a powerful tool called RustScan. Now, some of you might be familiar with Nmap, the well-known port scanner, but RustScan takes things up a notch with its incredible speed. Think of it as the faster, more efficient cousin of Nmap. But before we jump in, a quick heads up. This video is strictly for educational purposes. Always make sure you have proper authorization before scanning any network. With that out of the way, Let's get started and see how RustScan can supercharge your security scans. All right, let's jump into the first step, installing RustScan on your Linux system. Whether you're using Kali Linux like me or another distro, the process is quite similar. Head over to your web browser and find the download link in the video description below. This will grab the RustScan Debi package for your system. Once the download is complete, open up your terminal and navigate to the directory where you saved the file. In most cases, this will be your downloads folder. Now that you've located the downloaded file, it's time to install RustScan. The exact command will be displayed in the video description, so don't sweat it. Just type it in the terminal and press enter. All right, fantastic. RustScan is now installed on your Linux system. Time to put it to use. But hey, before we dive in, if you're finding this video helpful so far, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel for more security content. Now let's explore RustScan's functionalities. To see a list of available options, type RustScan H in your terminal. This will display all the different arguments you can use with the tool. Next, we need to grab your local IP address. To do this, type IP Adder in your terminal and press Enter. This will show you a list of network interfaces and their assigned IPs. Find the one corresponding to your active connection. Once you have your IP, it's time to run a scan. Type Rust Scan AA, followed by your IP address and press Enter. Remember, the exact command will be displayed in the video description as well. Watch closely. Rust Scan is incredibly fast and you'll see the scan results displayed in real time. Another interesting feature is the automatic Nmap scan that kicks off after Rust scan completes. We'll delve deeper into this cool functionality later in the video. By the way, Rust scan lets you scan multiple IP addresses in a few ways. You can separate them by commas or even store them in a file and scan them all at once. Now to scan a single port, use the dash P argument. Just type Rust scan dash A followed by your target IP address then add dash P and the specific port number you want to scan. For example, to scan port 80, you'd type the full command in the terminal. You can scan more than one port by adding them after a comma. Now, if you need to scan a range of ports instead, that's where the dash dash range argument comes in handy. Follow the same structure as before. Rust scan dash A and your target IP address, then add dash dash range, followed by the desired port range. For example, to scan ports 1 to 1000, you'd type the full command. Again, you'll find the exact command in the video description. Remember how I mentioned RustScan automatically launches an Nmap scan after completion? Well, you can take even more control by integrating specific Nmap arguments directly into your RustScan commands. This allows you to leverage RustScan's speed for initial port discovery and then use Nmap's in-depth scanning capabilities Here's how it works. Simply type your desired Rust scan command, followed by a space and two dashes. Then, add the Nmap arguments you want to use. By default, Rust scan uses some basic Nmap arguments, but you can use more options like dash A for aggressive scanning or dash SV for service version detection. You have complete control to customize these arguments and tailor your scans to your specific needs. All right, hackers, that's it for today's exploration of RustScan. We've covered a lot of ground, from installation to using Nmap in conjunction with RustScan. For more in-depth information about RustScan, be sure to check out some online resources. And if you're ready to put your newfound skills to the test, I highly recommend checking out the TryHack Me Room linked in the video description below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button for more security content coming your way. Thanks for joining me and until next time, stay secure.